Hey guys, broken solar panel here. Um, my webcam, unfortunately, is broken now. So, yeah, another part of my laptop has now been taken from me by the tragic force of Father Time. First, it was the SD card slot, so now I got to use a printer with an SD card slot. Then the microphone jack, so I have to use the built-in microphone. Then the built-in Wi-Fi receiver quit working, so I got to use a wireless key. And now the webcam doesn't work, so now I got to use my Casio camera propped up behind my laptop in order to actually do this Q&A this time. So yeah, my computer is just slowly dying, but it still works. I can still use it, so there's no real reason to replace it. So yeah, now I got to use this Casio camera for the Q&A. Luke T. DeBoss commented, I have a question. Will you ever try to think about creating a mini Tri-Blaster? A three-tone siren would be awesome in real life. The Tri-Blaster is kind of a complicated siren, so the best I could probably do once my 3D printer fan comes, which it still hasn't yet, is I might be able to make a canister siren once the 3D printer is fixed, but maybe. Green Galaxy commented, Hey BSP, for 14 Q&A, how do you use the screen recorder? I use Microsoft Encoder 4 screen capture and then I have to encode the recorded file from XESC to um, WMV or MP4 or whatever I usually encode it to. Uh, Middies and stuff commented, are you ever going to upgrade your webcam to an HD one? Well right now I got to use this camera because my built in webcam on my laptop just broke so um, and I'm not sure if I need to upgrade my camera because it's already good enough quality, so I don't really need to go HD. Plus, since my camera that is in my computer is built in, if I were to upgrade the camera, that means I have to upgrade the whole computer. And I ain't going to do that unless I absolutely need to, so, yeah. XX Roblox Players underscore 50XX commented, Question for 14K. In Tornado Warnings, do you sound your mini Thunderbolt or only on test days? I only sound that thing outside during test days. Because I don't go outside during a tornado. I take shelter like I should. Safety first, man. Um, Winston YN commented, Question for Q&A. Can you add natural disaster sound and missile threat on the menu beside Musen? I have a um, video of it doing the um, missile threat or dual tone attack tone uh, on my 9,000 subscriber Q&A. It's at the very end of the video. I, uh, sign off with the... Um, Mini Basimusen doing that creepy tone. And there are a couple of Mini Basimusen outdoor test videos that show it doing the natural disaster tone for three minutes, or the alert tone, the single tone alert. Um, yeah. Mega Blaster Siren commented, BSP, can you please make the Sokol Edison Model 120 in TSM? Here you go. Shahir Suleiman commented, um, call me what you want, but what's the Melodix? The Melodix is the Japanese chime console. It's like a digital MIDI uh, chime console playback device that uses specific cards with MIDI files on them, I think, and that uh, is used to play the chimes that the um, the Besai Musens in Japan use uh, to test their uh, amplifier and speaker hardware. You can find videos of it on YouTube. Just search on YouTube Toa Melodix and you should find some videos of this device. So, yeah. Neil Prasad 1905 commented, What's the air siren I heard in the background apart from the 2001 SRMB and the Thunderbolt? It sounded like a T128. Yes, it was a T128. Sarpy County sirens are mostly 2001s and T128s. So, yeah. And then. Neil Prasad 1905 commented, Hi BSP, for 14,000 subscribers, I'm just curious of asking you the following questions. How loud are your Mini Besimus MP10 and SD10 sirens in decibels? I'll test that soon after the Q&A with my phone as a decibel meter since I don't have an actual decibel meter at the moment. Um, two, what is the music you put at the end of your 12,000 subscribers Q&A? That's a song called Sibizar, and it was uh, made for propaganda. It's an old, old uh, sound mixing program, and uh, I used it on my really old computer. Um, here, I'll just show you right now. This is propaganda. It's um, a sound mixing program from God knows what. This program is at least 15 years old. Whoops. There it is right there. It's bizarre. It's one of the um, like 
preview songs that comes with this program. So I just kind of imported it via flash drive to my laptop so I can use it in that video, in that 12,000 subscribers ending uh, where my pop art started flashing and it said 12,000 subscribers. But here, let's play it back. Now let's get to the part I used in the 12,000 subscribers video. And that's what Sibizar sounds like. Well, that's what the part I used sounds like. So, yeah. Three, when you first started making Tornado Star Madison 2016, why were the voices sounding slow and weird? Because back then I was using an older version of Microsoft Sam. Now I use this Beconia version. Four, how did you make the Siren Symphony version of Yevon Polka by Hatsune Maiku? I used uh, Audacity and several uh, snippets of Siren recordings and then adjusting their pitch note by note to make the song. That's basically the simplest I can explain it, so yeah. And now I'll show you my siren decibels. Let's start with the mini thunderbolt. Up next is the Mini SD10. Next up, the Mini P10. Well, I've had to take the little rotator gear out because of how the rotator's driven by the same motor that the chopper's driven by because it needs to be stationary for a decibel test so that way it's always pointing at the decibel meter, or in this case, my phone. Next up, the Mini 2001 DC. Next up is the Mega Blaster Jr. Yep, I still haven't replaced it with the Mini Thunderbolt yet because of the Mini Thunderbolt's weird blower problem where it, the blower will kind of drop down in speed when the chopper winds up and then rise back up in speed when the chopper reaches full speed. So once I get all that sorted out, I might maybe replace the MBJ with the Mini Thunderbolt. But for now, this thing's sticking where it is. So, yeah. And now, the loudest siren I ever made, the Blitz. We're going to see how loud this monster really is.
Now the Mini Busai Musen. Now this one does have a bit of an advantage. It has a beefy amplifier, two horns pointing right at the phone that I'm going to have set up properly here shortly. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be using an MP3 player with the tone on it because I still haven't made a tone generator for it yet. So um, this uh, Mini Busai Musen test is only going to be sort of a um, this is how loud it is for now kind of test. 